This is a quick demo on how to take files that were shot sequentially in time-lapse mode using a, using a GoPro into Photoshop, how to do some simple processing, how to do some lens corrections, and do a little bit of video editing inside of Photoshop, and then take that video and get it out of Photoshop and put it onto something like YouTube or something along those lines. So the first thing you want to do is browse to your files that were shot by the GoPro. So we'll go to File, Open. In this case, I have a bunch of sequentially shot files. The GoPro is set to an interval of every five seconds. So every five seconds, the GoPro took a picture, and I was shoveling some snow on our driveway. So here's all the pictures. So what you want to do is click on the first picture you shot. And you'll see down here it's saying, is this an image sequence? If it's an image sequence, you say yes. And what's going to happen is when you say open, Photoshop will ask, OK, what's the frame rate you want to work with? So you can actually choose presets, type 1 in here. We'll just stick with 30, uh, 30 frames per second. We'll say OK. And this just takes a moment. All right, so now what we have is a video inside of Photoshop. And here is your timeline. If you don't have your timeline showing, we'll, go, we'll turn this off. Go to Window, choose Timeline. And there it is. OK. So we can play this. And this works uh, similarly to After Effects, where it's going to build a preview. So it's essentially building a RAM preview of our footage. OK. So just to get a quick idea of what this looks like, we'll back it up and we'll play it. So there I go, shoveling the driveway. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is that uh, when you shoot with a GoPro, of course, you get this whole fisheye thing going on, which you may or may not like. It actually looks kind of cool in this shot, but I'll show you how to correct it. Of course, your initial thought would be, all right, well, here's my, my layer, so I could just do some, some uh, adjustments to it. Let's say you wanted to adjust the contrast, for example, and I'll show you why this won't work initially. Okay, so it's, it looks like it's working just fine, right? Okay. Problem is, you only affected the first frame of video. See what the contrast adjustments didn't affect the rest of these layers or the rest of these frames. So what you want to do instead of just trying to uh, add an effect to this this layer right here, let me undo that. You want to actually convert this layer to smart to a smart uh, object. So you right-click on a layer, choose Convert to Smart Object. All right, now, in your timeline, you'll notice this whole thing turns purple. It's a smart object now, which means I can add whatever effects I want to it, and it'll affect the entire video, and not just one frame. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go to Filter, and we'll choose Lens Correction. Okay, now what you'll notice right away here is you have Camera Make, Camera Model. If we hit the drop down for Camera Make, guess what's in here? A GoPro. This was shot using a Hero 3 Black. And you right away see that the fisheye uh, effect has been corrected right off the bat. Now you could actually go in here and adjust these settings if you wanted to. Uh, you can change the uh, vertical perspective, things like that. Let's not do that for now. That'll get a little, that gets a little into the weeds. So we'll just uh, go back to this. It looks pretty good. We're going to say OK. And guess what? Our entire video now, every frame, has been corrected. OK, so let's do some more, some more adjustments to this. Let's um, try doing some brightness and contrast. Now, this is a smart filter, so we'll go down to the smart filters option down here, smart filters button. Let's choose brightness and contrast. Put some contrast at this thing. There we go. And take a look at some of the further frames. Okay. So again, all the frames have been adjusted throughout the video. And maybe you want to um, crop this, for example. You want to crop the entire video. Let's close this out. Well, no problem. You just got to the crop. 
and we'll crop this in a bit. And we'll shift to keep the aspect ratio locked in. Okay. Double click. Give it a second here to catch up. Bam. All right. So we've now adjusted contrast. We've corrected the lens uh, issues, the fisheye look, and we've cropped it. Pretty cool. All inside of Photoshop. So the next thing you want to do is actually export this video. So you can put it on YouTube or wherever you want to use it. So you just go to File, choose Export, Render Video, and once this dialog pops up, you'll see that you have a bunch of presets. So you have YouTube 720p, YouTube 1080p, all kinds of presets in here. We'll, try, we'll go with the um, YouTube 720p. And let's change our frame rate to 30 since we did work at 30 frames per second here. And we will call this shoveling. And we'll go ahead and render the entire video out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here's the file. So you have a nice HD recording of a time-lapse video shot with a GoPro with the fisheye effect removed, and it looks pretty good. So you can share this on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want. So there you go.